Hey guys, it's John and Anastasia with Six Pack Philosophy. Um, as you'll notice, we don't have the same setup here and we're even missing Mike, but um, what we're doing in uh, celebration of Christmas is we are going to make some homemade eggnog with booze um, to kind of celebrate the holidays and go along with our special Christmas episode since um, our regular Monday release date falls on Christmas. And when you're done watching this, if you want to check out the history of Christmas, you can hop on over to our podcast. It may not be quite out yet because we're going to release this just a little bit before we release podcast, yeah. but if it's not out, it'll be coming soon. And if you're watching this in future land, go check it out now yeah. or when the video's over. Yeah. Gotta and watch I, this video. As a little teaser, I'm going to try to sneak in the ethics of Christmas just a little bit, something that you haven't I heard. I don't know what that means. I know, but it's going to be fun. <laughs> All right. Next. Uh, so let's get started. Let's get started. So we have all our ingredients here. We do. And we'll be talking about some of those ingredients as we go. I'll tell you, I've made eggnog in years past. It's always turned out great. Mm -hmm. uh, but I tried a little bit different recipe this time. Um, Wait, you've never made this recipe before? I've not made this recipe before. This is new. Okay. Uh, it's got a little more spice than previous ones and a lot more complexity in the liquor. Uh, so yeah. we're experiencing this new thing together yeah. this is we normally just make the eggnog and then pour the booze in afterward well, that's how you make eggnog oh but it's just one booze <laughs> it, if it's only one is it booze or boo booze it's our boo <laughs> we pour yes. our boo in after we make our eggnog so anyway enough chit chat let's get to the eggnog making so uh first step is we blend the eggs for one minute in either a mixer filled with a whip attachment or a blender. Now we're making a double recipe. This recipe calls for four large eggs, so we're using eight. Eight. These are very large eggs. They are large eggs, and I'm gonna tell you something about these eggs. Whenever you're making eggnog, get brown eggs. The reason is, whenever they make white eggs, the, the ones you normally see in the store, they bleach them to get them white, and it actually degrades the shell. Now the reason that's important is the degraded shell allows bacteria to get in. So this, you're gonna be actually eating raw egg. You always wanna get brown eggs so that you, you have eggs with the least amount of bacteria. Right, right. Chance of you getting sick with this are very low even with white eggs, but let's, let's not play games with it, right? Well, and to be clear, we have gone and gotten uh, the best products that we could find um, Don't skip for, egg for all of this. Um, and I would actually one time like to do a side-by-side -side with like eggnog made with the cheapest ingredients you could find and eggnog with the nice ingredients and see if you can really tell the difference. Right. Sometime, but not this time. So. Are oh, you doing these the are bigger. Yeah. Than, these oh. are tougher than white eggs. Yeah, they're, okay. that's, we need a trash can. Right here. Right here. Okay, that's, that's, don't do that at home, guys. That gets egg. It bothers John really It bad. does. It gets egg back in your egg carton and then that's a breeding ground for bacteria. That you didn't want in your eggs because of the thing. Oops, Oops we're I dropped a piece. All right. Clean hands. Yeah, clean hands. Let me. There's one. And there's the other. All right, Got perfect. It. You want to do one? Sure, here. Five. Woo. That one did right. There we go. Six. Well, keep working. The eggs are over they here. They want to get to the drinking part, not well, the Well, we can edit. We can, like, part. skip ahead. I mean, fine. We'll do like this in fast motion. Well, you should motion. speed it up. Yeah, yeah, I can speed it up. Okay, next. This is the, the wrong attachment. Let's speed this up while I, I change out the attachment. need those in there. You might as well just, yeah, it's wax paper. set them paper. like this. Here we it's go. It's wax paper. It'll be great. Um, number two, add sugar, spices, and blend for an additional 30 seconds. Did we bring the sugar? Nope. We didn't bring the sugar. Mike, save us. <laughs> we are pro. You don't want to make okay, this without so the sugar. what are our spices? Our spices are, we have ground cinnamon. I don't know which camera. Oh yeah, here we go. Ground cinnamon. We have ground clove. Oh, you can't really see that. Alright, one of these cameras will pick it up. You have 
allspice, and you have nutmeg. Again, might be cutting some of this out. Or we'll just make like a super long, ridiculous video. Oh, that'd be ridiculous. Yeah. Thank you. All right, cool. Thank oh, you. sugar is behind us. All right. Oh, I see it. There we go. Cool. Sorry, guys, I touched my hair, so I wanted to wash my hands before I touched anything else. Make sure that's sugar. Yeah, good idea. That looks like flour. Make sure it's sugar. It's sugar. That's okay. It's sugar, sugar. Come on. How much? Add the sugar and spices. Sugar is. Hold up. Six ounces of sugar. All right. And so we need 12 ounces. Wait, wait how much is in a cup? Uh, eight ounces in a cup. Do we need the cup measurement? You mean this one? Yeah. Yes. All right. And then we need how many ounces? 12 ounces. Or that's eight. a cup and a half. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I was going exactly for that. And we keep going. You know, I see now why they pre-measure everything when they're doing like cooking shows and stuff. That would have been smart. Yeah. But this is our first time. Yeah. So everybody's going to cut us some slack, right? You get to watch our first time here live on YouTube. Don't do that. First time. That is gross. Hashtag first time. Hashtag no. Hashtag I think sugar. we're almost there. Hashtag sugar virgin? Oh, God, no. No, no. Okay, we can't do hashtag sugar virgin. I don't virgin. even know what that is, but it's kind of weird. One more again. Maybe what we do? Okay. All right. Cup and a half and the spices. Yeah, go, go. Ooh, that looks good already. Yeah. Okay, spices. All right. I'm We're doubling all of this. One teaspoon of nutmeg, so two teaspoons of nutmeg. Allspice. Nutmeg. Good old McCormick. And we didn't open these up. This is fantastic. Two she teaspoons? Tossed it. You missed it. She like <laughs> opened it and she just like tossed it away. We don't need that shit. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's, I mean, that is a kind of teaspoon. A heaping spoon is <laughs> I think what they call that. One. One. Two. Two teaspoons of nutmeg. Ooh, that smells strong. Eight teaspoons of allspice, so that's going to be a quarter. Eight teaspoons? One eight. Okay, a quarter so teaspoon. a quarter, yeah. Okay, so. And we're going to need 16 teaspoons. <laughs> Can you imagine? We should do it like our grandmas and just pretend like we we can just eyeball it. Yeah, I would have put in way more than that. But then then after that happened, then Jonah would put us in a nursing home. Hold on. Like... An eighth of a teaspoon? Yeah. Oh, it needs a little more then. There. All right, cool. All right, we're good. We got this. One eighth teaspoon of clove. We haven't been drinking yet. One eighth. Ground clove. So two eighths, which is a quarter. What? Yeah. You're kidding. Yeah. Seriously? No, seriously. I went to engineering school and everything. That's true. Um, a half teaspoon of cinnamon. So a whole teaspoon. Ah, back to this. Okay. Cinnamon. -num. All right. I wish these had the little like things where you dip your spoon in and it's got the smooth edge so you can get it nice and even. But they do not. No. We didn't buy the fancy ones. Or we did, but they weren't fancy enough apparently. Alright, I need to get Fancy back to my instructions. There's uh -oh. someone scrolling. Okay, should I be maybe... We should just wait. Uh, blend an additional 30 seconds. Timer. I'm working on timer. And close that while we're at before I spill the I sugar everywhere. I can't do both. Ooh, I keep stepping too close and like cutting off my eyeballs. Alright, go when you're ready. Alright. No, no more, no more. We're good, we're good. Okay. Slowly add the liquors and blend another 30 seconds. Which liquors? And how much? All of them. Okay. We'll start with the Hennessy. Okay, so the Hennessy we add. Hold up. We've got to double this. Two ounces, so we need four ounces. And that's in the middle of the diamonds, right? Yeah. Yeah, near the top of the diamonds. It's liquor. We'll do it in the shot glass. Yeah. Should be like two thirds of the bottle. Yeah. Is that slow enough? I don't know. Okay. It says slow. Do it like Grandma used to do. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ooh, or that uh, that one video that's like, you're gonna need a quarter ounce. No. Two ounces of vodka. That's what it was, yes. yes. Two shots of vodka. Okay. okay. Next we need two ounces of Grand Marnier. Hmm? <laughs> Grand Marnier. Marnier. Yes. You tried to put the lid <laughs> on the shot glass. That's Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. Alright. We gotta get this in shot. I gotta Ooh, that one's good. Oh yeah. I mean we got this whole I know, thing. I know I went to Tennessee. Oh, oh yeah, it's Tennessee. I've never had it before today. Alright. Grand Marnier. Grab that out. And this one this has is no longer a family show. This one has shot. It was never a family show. It's six pack philosophy. Yeah, but I hadn't cursed yet in this episode. I've cursed. Oh, you did? Yeah. I didn't notice. I'm How pretty fucking sure I cursed. How do you open it? It's, no, the, the, you, there's a thing. You pull the thing. It's got directions. See the arrows? Why do I need directions to open a bottle? Because you couldn't do it without them, apparently? I did. I twisted and it worked. Or it was working until you made me do it the hard way. Here we go. Like I've never opened a bottle of liquor before. I promise I'm 21, officer. So four yeah, ounces I'm 21. Again. Four ounces again. Okay. Yeah, you wish you were 21. Not really. 21 is not a good year. Oh, oh, a little more than two ounces there. Two ounces of vodka. This is supposed to have an orange taste. I've never drank this stuff. It smells orangey. Well, and I was I was thinking that orange would be weird in in eggnog, but we're gonna try it. Are you doing more, or are you taking a shot? I'm just gonna taste a little bit. Okay. You wanna taste a little bit? Tell me if it's good. Not, I mean, kind of not really, but I'll do it. Definitely orangey. Taste it. It's ah, good. All right. Okay. Oh. Oh, good. You're not touching it to your mouth. It's not no, like we're sharing this. That is sweet. It is very sweet. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Don't what's do next? that. What's next? All right. The bullet bourbon. Yes. This is the stuff I've been waiting for. Four ounces of bullet bourbon. So we need eight ounces of this stuff. I'm... We're going to just save a little time and put it in here. Yeah, so with every recipe of this I've ever made, I've always had to, to up the liquor from the recipe. I think I may not need it on this one, but let me tell you. Even if you need to up the, the, the liquor, the thing I've learned about making eggnog, don't up the liquor when you make it. Bring liquor and, and spike it later. Because, first of all, you don't know how it's going to turn out. It may actually be like this one, fairly heavy. But second of all, uh, you don't want your guests to... to. You, I mean, it's for your guests. You, you, don't, you want, don't want them to not be able to drive home. Because after a long day of Christmasing, like, you want people to go away. Well, then sometimes people will drink it and they'll be like, that's just too liquory for yeah. me. And, and then nobody drinks your stuff. Like, don't make it so... God, my hand is shaking. That's because you took those shots. I did not take a shot. This is not a shot. Mm. Mm. I'm not gonna shoot bourbon. That's sacrilege. I'm not rooting bourbon. I'm not shooting bourbon. I'm letting it sit in my mouth oh. and tasting all of it all over my mouth. Okay, so, fantastic. I mean, I think you blend for thirty seconds. Yeah, thirty seconds. So I'll get my timer back. Go. Right. In one second, we're gonna cut this part out. Oh, okay. that part. Oh, I was wondering yeah. what you meant. Okay. That's some snot. Thanks, That's John. Nasty. Thank you. Anyway. Now what? Now. Cream. Add the milk and cream and blend for a minute. A minute. Okay. All right. How much milk and how much cream? We'll start with the cream, because I'm opening it now. All right. See, in the, in, in the recipes I made earlier, you actually whip the cream to uh, soft peaks. Yeah. And put that in there. This right. one doesn't seem like we do that. Um, I sure hope we don't. Otherwise, we're going to need a whole thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, are we supposed to? No, I'm, I'm oh. just... Yeah, I was agreeing. We'd need a whole thing. Where the hell did it go? Bah. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we don't need it. It said add the cream and milk. We got to need it, right? Well, this is interesting. All right, guys, we kind of cut out there for a little while. <laughs> Apparently, our recipe, I, I swear, they had to have updated the webpage because I bought cream because it's in there. In the directions, it talks about adding cream, but the ingredients list doesn't include cream. So we're going to do three cups yeah, of I, cream. 
I know that it's more than one of these because I bought two, and I know it's less than two because I remember that. Since it doesn't say anything about it, you want to go ahead and whip it to peaks? Or no? Well, no, because the other one had it kind of floated on top. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Okay, so, so here we go. So, we're going to do one and a half. One? One and a half. One and a half what? Of the, the boxes. Yeah. And the box is one pint. Yeah. And... So, one and a half pints. Yes. Yeah. Which is three cups. I'm giving them the recipe. Are you, though? Yes. You aren't using units, and as as we all know, without units, it's useless. Box is a unit. You're a We're unit. using one and a half boxes. You know these come in different size boxes, right? Like there's a smaller Well, don't get one? the different sizes. Oh. What? How do I get half a box, John? You feel it. You No, uh, you don't feel it, uh, Grandma. You, feel you don't it. feel it, Grandma. You feel it. All right, there we go. That's the right amount of cream. Sure. And then... 12 ounces. So we need 24 ounces of milk. Three cups of oat. The milk is Finish cool. your milk, guys. Some milk. So while she's pouring milk, do not skimp on your milk either. This is the base of your uh, eggnog, and it's going to be the most prominent taste Ooh. in there next to the liquor. Don't skimp on that either. Don't skimp on your eggs. Don't skimp on your milk. Don't skimp on your liquor. Unless you're doing a side-by-side, -side, in which case, uh, record it, and I want to see it. And you can skimp on your spices. That freshly grated nutmeg bullshit, don't even worry it's about it. It's just for pretty. Yeah, don't, don't. It's for pretty. Don't sit there and grate nutmeg. It's, it's nutmeg. Ah, okay. It's fine. And then there's, one day we're going to grate nutmeg. Great nutmeg. Close that up, will you? Yeah. I was going to say, there's going to be some nutmeg enthusiast who's going to be like, no. Okay. Freshly grated nutmeg is the only way to enjoy the, the, the ah. nut of a meg. Okay, Google. Oh, your Google doesn't work. You need for one me. minute timer? Yes. Yeah, it's to my voice. I know. I could try to imitate your Go. voice. Go. Woo! There we go. Are All we right. done? Well, kind of, yeah. I mean, kind of, yeah. I'll, I'll read the rest for everybody at home. And if you want to see this served and tried and see how it turned out, you need to go to our episode because we're going to rate it. Um, you got to chill it in the fridge. Oh, yes. There, there is, is actually not a congealment or anything that happens. Just make it cold so you're not drinking hot eggnog. Uh, hot nog. Hot nog, yeah. Portion out four ounces of eggnog into a champagne flute. Or don't do that shit. Just get like a, a... You need it to be a little fluty. Like one of these. Yeah, that's fine. Anyway. And then great fresh nutmeg or cinnamon over the top, optional, and serve. Or you can just do this. Yeah, just, just do that shit. Don't, it's fine. Don't break it. You're fine. All right. Well, that's it. And if you want to see how this turned out, go listen to the podcast or, you know, maybe you have to wait. Sometimes you got to wait. Or maybe we come back later and we just do like a little addendum and like try it. Well, no. You know, we'll do whatever. The rating is on the thing. Well, yeah, we won't rate it. Duh. We'll be like, oh, wow, that was really good. Go watch the show. No, they got to watch the show. Watch the of show. Of course you have to watch the show. Anyway, uh, we hope you enjoyed. Go check out the show, because apparently we're not going to let you know how it is. But we will let you know how to make it. Um, <coughs> cheers and Merry Christmas. Can we cheers with some bourbon in the Grand Marnier shot glasses? Oh, I'm not going to sh shoot bourbon. We're not going to shoot it, John. It's I'm just a glass. Shooting bourbon. It's just a glass. I can't believe we're shooting bourbon. Do, 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 do. I will cut it. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, here. Oh, no, I got it. No, I've already done the work here. What? Okay. In a Grand Marnay shot glass, no less. We are shooting bourbon. We're not shooting bourbon. We're sipping bourbon. We're cheersing oh, bourbon. Oh, mine's got a sticker. Oh. Yeah, nasty. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. From uh, John and Anastasia at Six Pack Philosophy. I think Mike's going to be coming on later to make his own yummy holiday drink. Yeah, so uh, we're releasing another video today. He's going to show you how to make a recipe with scotch. An old family recipe. Cheers. Very good. Cheers. <laughs>